We've all heard about SMC, or smart money concepts, a trading approach that focuses on how big institutions and banks move the market. Terms like break of structure and change of character are key to understanding shifts in market trends. But how can we take advantage of these concepts without constantly watching the charts? Or somehow use algo trading to automate trades using these concepts? Imagine we could create software that monitors multiple trading pairs around the clock and automatically opens a position when a bullish break of structure occurs. But trading isn't just about entries. We also need to manage risk. That means we should be able to set take profit and stop loss levels to protect our trades. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. First, we'll create a trading bot that monitors Bitcoin 24-7, waiting for an SMC bullish break of structure. But before giving it real money to trade, we'll run it using virtual money, allowing us to test the strategy in a simulated environment and see if it works. The bot will then generate detailed reports, including the number of winning and losing trades, win rate, and total profit and loss. Once we're confident in our approach, we'll switch the bot to live mode and connect it to our crypto exchange, allowing it to trade real money on our behalf. The entire process will be fully automated. And the best part is that we're going to set this up without any coding, so anyone can follow along. Let's see how we're going to do this. First, we need to create a TradingView signal bot. This bot will be active 24 seven, waiting for signals from TradingView to open or close a position and manage risk. After that, we need to configure TradingView to send alerts to our bot. To create our bot, I use CryptoTailor.io. This platform allows us to create TradingView signal bots and has the capability to run strategies in demo mode using virtual money in real market conditions, as well as live mode to securely connect to our exchange and execute trades on our behalf using an API key. We'll get to that part later. For now, we want to run our bot in demo mode to test the strategy using virtual funds. From the left menu, I click on Create Signal Bot. Here, we can configure our bot in three simple steps. First, we need to choose the exchange and trading pair. I choose Binance and Bitcoin. This is important because trades will be simulated using price data from this exchange, ensuring that our strategy is tested under real market conditions. In the next step, we must decide on the capital allocation per position. There are two options, static amount and dynamic percentage. With the static amount option, the bot will open all trades using a fixed amount, such as 100 USDT per position. In contrast, the dynamic option automatically adjusts the position size based on our available spot wallet balance on the exchange, allowing it to grow and auto compound over time. The dynamic option is only available for live trading, while in demo mode, all positions will use a default of 100 USDT. Here, we can also set our take profit and stop loss levels. Although we are configuring our bot to work with TradingView signals, it's always better to have risk management in place. For this example, I set both take profit and stop loss levels at 5%. This step is optional, but it's highly recommended to protect our trades in case the market moves unexpectedly. It's also important to set stop loss and take profit levels according to our strategy's timeframe. For example, if we're using a high timeframe like the four hour or daily chart, we shouldn't use very tight stop loss and take profit levels as price movements are larger. Make sure to configure these settings based on your trading style and chosen timeframe. And in the last step, we choose a title for our bot. It's best to name it something that makes it easy to identify later in reports, so I name it SMC Break of Structure. Then we must select Demo Mode to run the bot in simulation using virtual money and set its status to active upon creation, ensuring it starts working in the background as soon as it's created. We can also enable Telegram notifications, allowing the bot to send instant alerts about its activities, such as when it opens or closes a position or generates reports. However, before enabling this, make sure your account is already connected to Telegram from this section. And finally, by clicking on Save, our signal bot is ready and working in the background. As you can see, the bot has provided us with some key settings, a buy signal, a sell signal, and a webhook URL. Now we need to configure TradingView to use these settings, meaning we have to set it up 
so that when a bullish break of structure happens, TradingView sends a buy signal to our bot to open a position. And when a bearish break of structure happens, it sends a sell signal to close the position. The webhook URL is what we'll use to establish this connection between TradingView and our bot. Now that our bot is ready, let's head over to TradingView and configure it. Before anything, add the Smart Money Concepts Indicator by Lux Algo to your chart. You can easily do this by searching for it in the Indicators section. Once added, you'll see key market structures highlighted, including break of structure. The goal is to open a position when a bullish break of structure occurs and close it when a bearish break of structure is detected. We've already set up take profit and stop loss levels when configuring our bot, so risk management is already in place. To automate this process, we need to use TradingView alerts and create two alerts. The first alert will send a buy signal to our bot whenever a bullish break of structure occurs, triggering an entry. The second alert will send a sell signal when a bearish break of structure is detected, closing the position. This way, our bot will automatically execute trades based on smart money concepts without us needing to monitor the charts manually. Before creating alerts, make sure you are on your desired trading pair and time frame. In this case, I am on the BTC USDT chart with a four hour time frame, meaning our strategy will follow these exact settings. In TradingView, alerts are based on the chart's current pair and time frame, so whatever you have selected will determine when and how alerts are triggered. Let's create our first alert for the buy signal. From the top bar, click on Alert, and in the Alert Creation window, select the condition as Smart Money Concepts. A box will appear below it. Select Bullish Break of Structure. In the Trigger section, select Once Per Bar Close. This ensures that the alert only triggers after the current candle closes, confirming the break of structure. For the expiration, select a date until when you want this alert to remain active. In the Message section, we need to use the buy signal received from the bot since we're configuring our buy alert. Simply copy and paste the signal into this field. This ensures that when the alert triggers, TradingView sends the correct signal to our bot to open a position. Now that we have configured the buy trigger for entry, we need to tell TradingView to send this alert to our bot's webhook URL. To do this, go to the Notifications tab, activate the webhook URL option, and paste the webhook URL received from the bot into the field. If this option is not available for you, it's because TradingView requires a paid subscription to enable webhook alerts, so you may need to upgrade your membership. Finally, by clicking on Create, we have successfully configured TradingView to detect bullish break of structures and send them as alerts to our bot. Now it's time to set our second alert, which will trigger the sell signal when a bearish break of structure occurs. We need to repeat the same process for creating the alert, but in the condition section, instead of selecting bullish break of structure, we choose bearish break of structure. Here, you can also choose bearish change of character, depending on your strategy. We keep all other settings the same as the previous alert, but for the message, this time we need to use the sell signal received from the bot. And finally, we check the Notifications tab to make sure we have set the correct webhook URL for this alert as well. Once everything is set, click on Create. Now as you see, we are done configuring TradingView and both alerts are set up. TradingView will now send signals directly to our bot whenever a bullish or bearish break of structure occurs. Let's go back to CryptoTailor and check our running signal bots. As you can see, the bot is working in demo mode, waiting for the buy signal from TradingView. Once it receives the signal, it will open a position based on our capital allocation settings, and we can monitor the opened position in the Open Positions menu. Then, the bot will wait for the sell signal while also managing risk by monitoring the market for the take profit and stop loss levels we configured earlier. After some time, you can check the strategy's performance by reviewing the Closed Positions section, which will show the total number of trades, won and lost trades, win rate, and total profit and loss. Additionally, by using the Reports section and Daily PL, you can track how this strategy has performed over time with a clear breakdown of its results.
Now that you've seen how to automate smart money concepts in demo mode, let me show you how to switch the bot from demo mode to live mode and connect it to your exchange. First, go to the exchanges menu and connect your account to your exchange. This is done using API keys, which are a secure way to allow third-party applications to execute trades on your behalf. API keys are provided by all reputable exchanges, such as Binance and OKX. When creating API keys, make sure to set the key permissions to trade only. This ensures that the bot can only buy and sell assets, but cannot withdraw funds, keeping your account secure. There is also a step-by-step -step guide available for each exchange on how to generate and connect these keys properly. After successfully connecting to your exchange, enabling live trading and allowing the bot to use real money to execute trades on your behalf is simple. Just switch the bot from demo mode to live mode. Now, when TradingView sends signals to your bot, it uses API keys to connect to your exchange and place orders. Just like in demo mode, it will also monitor your position to manage stop loss and take profit levels. When it hits any of these levels or receives a signal for a bearish break of structure from TradingView, it will automatically place a sell order to close the position. You can still monitor the bot's performance, just like in demo mode, using the closed positions or daily PNL chart. And that's it. If you have any questions, you can always submit a support ticket and our support team will assist you. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content on algo trading and trading automation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.